Hey guys, welcome to Talks K with Socher, and today on the show, I got none other than Ryan, aka Planet X. Who? Planet X. Oh, oh, yeah, that guy, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Let's fucking rock on. <laughs> Dude, Ryan, Mike Jones? What, what, what's up? Mike Jones? Mike Jones? Is that who you are? Yeah. Oh. Who? Mike Jones. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I mean, this is about to be a phenomenal episode. I think so, too. Guaranteed. Not, not for, because I'm here, because you're here. Yeah, well, uh, of course. But um, <laughs> from the start, this is going to be a great episode. So we got, this is a show I said there's big announcements. First of all, big. 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 All right. First of all, this is the first episode with the sign. I the have to, sign. The sign. All right. And I have to thank Grandma for this one. Yeah. Grandma, you did a great job. Outstanding. Outstanding. She she blows me away every time she gives me a gift. I tell you. So. And you have it green. And I have it green for a specific reason. What's that? Because Planet X is in the house. In, in the house. So. I got to have my green up there. Yeah. That's for you. Thank you. Yeah. Heartfelt. Heartfelt? Yep. So, what's been up with you? <laughs> Working. Working? Is the new year looking busy? Extremely. Look, all right. So, Extremely. we're going to get in this. All right. So, like I said, this is Ryan with Planet X Industries, okay? Well, tell me, what is Planet X Industries? <clears throat> so... Planet X Industries is a conglomerate of many different services, um, with the, with the three main being events, creative, and tech. So when I say events, you know, I mean we do anything from weddings to concerts to private events to bar mitzvahs to you know like the whole nine yards. Um, the creative, you know, we do a lot of graphic work for different nightclubs, events, EPKs. We pretty much can take on we can take talent and brand and shape them into who they need to be. Um, and we can do that by creating all their graphic work, all that kind of fun stuff. Tech, we go out. I've gone out to a church on a Sunday, or the best example would be a church on a Wednesday. The painters came that day, and literally, like, they unplugged the whole soundboard. Oh, fun. And it was Christmas week. So. Oh, that's real fun. Yeah, yeah. That's so... You know that that kind of tech stuff. Yeah, you know, and and I like it. That that's just a, another aspect of my business is tech. So that's probably my funnest part. Like mm -hmm. the funnest part to me is putting it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like getting there, laying out the speakers where they need to go, laying out the board where it needs to go, everything, right. and then wiring it all. I don't know why it to me, it's fun, but that, is it gratifying? Oh, it is. It's so like. The satisfaction you get it from it is just unreal. Well, I think the biggest thing to me is seeing the finished product. Right. And, like, you know, being who we are, mm -hmm. we make sure shit looks good. Oh, yeah. Like, um, and it's something I started, but I definitely, definitely, since I've been working with you, have made it a lot better. Right. And, like, even my podcast room is about to be a lot better <laughs> because of this. But uh, don't I didn't notice when I walked in anything. I think it looks great, Ben. Oh, I appreciate it, but it's mm -hmm. gonna get better. Okay, all right. <laughs> but no, like attention to detail. Attention to detail. Stages need to be right. Mm -hmm. Okay, my worst the thing I a pet peeve of mine is a wire going across the stage. I hate wires across the stage. What about this? What about this? A yellow or orange wire going across the stage even more awful even more awful like if it was black i might be able to tolerate it but i will say this though i'll be i'll be the first to admit back in the day uh -huh. i would do it because i didn't know you know yeah and and that's I, I i like to say both sides of this um we've learned that by now but it's the whole thing is a process you know what i'm saying so yeah. like Back in the day, I would have done that. That would have been me, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, and you know, so I I've done it also, and but my dad is actually the one who first said it to me. He said, "Don't put a wire across the stage because <laughs> it creates a trip hazard." Hundred percent. Like, and I, I 
I'm sure he's tripped over some wires, mm-hmm. and that's why when he came up with said this. But also the look of your stage when there's nothing on the stage, the look of it just looks pure. No, oh, 100%. Like, no one's focused on some random wire, and it doesn't look like someone's bedroom or something. No, yeah. It's a, it's a perfection. Well, that's where we work. Right. I mean, that's where we perform, mm-hmm. you know, and... and um. I'm always, my biggest thing is be show ready, be picture ready, be video ready. Yeah. And that's the thing you did mention to me. Make sure it's picture ready. Oh, yeah. Like, because wires don't show up great on pictures. Mm -mm. So, I mean, I've even taken, like, our 95 setup. Yeah. And there's certain ways I Shout out to Greg, too, by the way. Definitely shout out to Mm -hmm. Greg. 95. Good Good friend of mine. Yeah. 95, all of you guys are great. Oh, yeah. Um, But I, I... I do a certain chicken treat you good, huh? That trick chicken coming up. Oh no, that's the alcohol. Hey, and I will say this while we're on that the alcohol uh, topic, this blue motherfucker is awesome. Oh, you're you're welcome. Props, thank you. For anybody that knows me, I'm a huge excuse my excuse my French, but blue motherfucker fan, blue motorcycle. We'll put it to you that way. Okay. Yeah, I blue mean, motorcycle. It's a little, I don't care. Well, you know, it's on YouTube. That's right. YouTube uh, don't care. Anyways, so yeah, I, I'm I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge. I, I critique these drinks. Yeah, and it's, no. it's phenomenal. Yeah, right, uh, right on. I, I, appreciate I appreciate the drink. Oh, see, and I appreciate you saying it's that good. Oh, 100. You know. Well, if I didn't have this in my hand, I'd have Victoria Fields beer in my hand. Of see, course, of course. That's what uh, Sippy likes to do. He brings out Sippy Harvest. 100. percent AKA Southern Harvest. Listen, but. working at Victoria has spoiled me rotten. Yeah. Because Pretoria makes incredible or brews incredible yeah. beer. So my I my go to is a mangoza. Oh yeah. I, I the sour taste of a mangoza to me is amazing. Well goza I like all the gozas, but the mangoza is the one I can't stop drinking. You just chugging. Yeah. Chugging. I could chug that drink easily all day. Do you know what my favorite drink is? Mm. Uh, strawberry basil. Really? I love strawberry basil. And I also like the seltzers, the, the strawberry seltzer. seltzers. They got a new one. I that, got plenty of those at the house. There's a new one that just came out. It's a watermelon something. Really? Yep. I'm going to have to try that. Yep. I think it just hit the floor like last week or something. Dang. But yeah, shout out to Pretoria too. Yeah. You know, that's We spend a lot of time there and um, they're like family. I don't I don't even call them a client. They're, they're like family. So... Um, but yeah, definitely want to thank them for all of what they did for us in 23 and before. Yeah. So. And there's more to come this year. Oh, yes. I'm excited. Big schedule. I'm excited too. I'm excited for sure. Yeah. But Which yeah. We got to talk off air about some stuff. <laughs> I, I'm just. There's there's a lot to talk about. Yeah. I love having secrets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. 100%. People are like, what's going on? I don't know. And, and this on. is, this is, I will say, we're just going to build up, you know, so that. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know, with my experience in podcasts, you want to keep people watching, right? So you know, we're gonna drink a little bit and talk, but at the end of this, we have a very big surprise. At the end of this, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Very big surprise. Are yeah. you excited about it? Oh, dude, I'm. I'm more excited than you can imagine about this. This is a very, very major deal to me. So I, so I came. <clears throat> we'll, we'll we'll say this. So I came up with this. I'm very patriotic, like American flag all the way, yeah. you know, uh, support the troops, support the military. If you notice the hoodie I'm wearing is yes. My, my, yes. my academy of hoodies. I love so. it. But yeah, I'm very patriotic and that's, you know, I, I want to, I was kind of digging deep into my arsenal trying to mm-hmm. figure out, you know, how I could, how I could support that. So okay. that's all we're talking about. That's all we're saying. Just wait until the end. And don't skip to the end. I know. Don't that, do that. that that's, how lame. How lame. We're not even going to tell you the seconds, so you yeah. can skip. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to go through the whole episode to try to figure it out. Yeah. So. We'll, we'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. I might say it halfway. I mean. Yeah. I got to make it where it like we talk about it, and then it jumps into yeah, the yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bits and pieces. Little nuggets throughout the video. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, shit. But, but no, nah, man. Hey, let me say this also. I appreciate everything you've done for the business as well, brother. It Listen, it... it I mean, I love doing it. It so means a lot to me. I know. Yeah, and 
it means a lot to me that you have yeah. allowed me this opportunity. Yeah. So the opportunity is incredible. Mm -hmm. And everyone already knows I'm going to Full Sail University. That's right. So this shit's about to really explode. 100%. So, and I'm hoping to be able to, you know, start learning how to network better, mm -hmm. which I, I know a little bit. But I don't know a whole lot. Once I know how to network right, we're going places. Well, you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, and a lot of people ask my history. And, I mean, I am I was 20 years old. I got a job at, at uh, Verizon. I was a technician. And, um, you know, I went, I worked there 13 years. And that was kind of one of their big things is customer service, you know, sales evolution, building relationships, presenting in front of people like that. That was, I, I credit a lot of that to where I'm at today. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's, I, I say all that to say, you got to learn it, man. Yeah. That's not something that you can just, you know, pick up. I, I can't teach you. I can't give you a crash course tonight. No. You know, no, no, it's, you know, a, something, it's, a, it's something you learn over time. Yeah. And but, but, like, it, you know, throughout my career from Verizon and, you know, couple other companies i work for I, I learned it through there and not only that but just business myself i've had planet x well according to the irs since 2017 but it was a hobby before then um yeah. you know and just growing the business man and building relationships and maintaining relationships i mean that's that's i love that yeah and so i mean my platform right here is how i have built mine yeah so like just by this podcast i've actually met a lot of people sure and got to learn who they were, talk to them. I mean, someone I like... I feel bad about I'm trying to give the camera some love, too. You're trying to give the camera... Oh, yeah. you didn't go where... Yeah. They... Pretty face. Y'all just love me in. Yeah. And that's all it is, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, uh, for instance, I brought the loves on here. And I got a whole story of who they are, where mm -hmm. they came from. Oh, yeah. You know, um... Shout out to the loves, too, man. They're awesome. The loves. I mean... I've had, which upcoming soon, we're trying to get the whole entire band, if they don't know this yet, but whole band of Fast Food for Mutants on here. Hey. The whole band, not just Jason. Whole band. I'm trying to get Jason and Brian. I know Brian lives out of town, so we got to kind of work out sure. a schedule with that. But, um, like, I'm trying to get their whole band here. And, but, like I said, I get to bring all these people on and learn who they are. And then just knowing them now, I might know two or three other people that oh, yeah. they know that oh, yeah. I don't. So, so like you call it rubbing elbows. That's right. So I try to put myself in, you know, positions all the time to where I, but you know, it's, um, you, you don't necessarily, I hear some people say rub the right elbows. It's not necessarily the right elbows because no. you never know who is the right elbow. You don't. You know, yeah. you can't judge an elbow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just, I, just, I honestly think at, at a certain point, you kind of took a gamble on me because you didn't know who I was when you first met me. You just seen the ambition. So, you know, and uh, pretty good at reading people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and you work hard. You know, and that's kind of what, and, and whenever I recruit, I don't paint this beautiful picture like, oh, yeah, we're going to go party and all this kind of stuff. No. no. Yeah. We're in the rain. We're in the cold. We're, yeah. you know, loading in, three, loading out 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, it's tough. People oh. don't get it. They they see the party side. You know, they, they don't see the... The hustle side. Listen, they don't see the logistics. They don't see the contracting. Yeah. They don't see the running the business. They don't see the, run, the, the budget. You know, yeah. they don't see... Eating ramen noodles because you had to buy two lights. This, you know, I mean, yeah. I, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, and and that's why I said once again, it's amazing to be able to jump into the opportunity because mm -hmm. you've already established Planet <sighs> Yes, which I know was a lot of grind. It is. It was. I, it is. It it's is. still a lot of grind because yeah, we're is. we're I mean, still gr growing. Yeah, every, you know, every day, every year, it's going to get bigger and bigger. Well. You know, and and I I I push for that. Um, I I've, I always people always hear me say, you know, I built the monster. Now I kind of got to tame it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, but yeah, it's 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 uh, it's definitely a, a 
a, a beast. Yeah. It's hard to describe, but I enjoy it. I truly love every every person that I do business with. Um, you know, every client that I have. I mean, I you know, I like I said, I started back in back in the day with just a what did I do? I think it was a house party. It was either a house party or a wedding. Yeah. I think I started with a wedding, like professionally with a wedding. Um, and then after that, you know, just kept building, you know, and I've yeah. had setbacks. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been broke. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but it takes money to make money. It does. You I know? mean, and like nothing about this business is cheap. Oh, God, no. And I keep looking at stuff and I'm like, <laughs> I, I'll put it this way. Cause I want my own recording studio. Mm-hmm. Like I legit want my own. I looked up recording studio boards today and I wanted to pass out. Like the cheapest one is like two grand. That's the, the out, absolute yeah. bottom line studio board is two grand. Yep. And you cannot do very much with mm-hmm. it. I mean, it's very limited. So, and then they go way up quick. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, Just depending on what you're trying to do. My so, and then, and I had to find out. The average studio cost is thirty thousand to four hundred thousand. Oh, hundred, yeah. So easy. N- that's easy. That's so, probably just equipment. Oh yeah, no, yeah. They said, and then it mentioned at the bottom. It said, if your not house is not suitable for it, expect spent to spend more. Right. Like I was like, holy cow. So you know, and I'm I'm blessed to say, I mean, plenty of days is paid for. Yeah. You know, right. I mean, that's I've tried my best not to take loans out and that sort of thing and that's kind of where the hustling and the mm-hmm. you know the the being broke for two three weeks you know, you know what i'm saying right. just to buy something you know right. what i'm saying um i mean yep but those are the little things man that you gotta so i mean i'm gonna work towards it i don't i'm not gonna have to be professional for a long time because of that cost oh yeah but one day there will be a professional as long as you have studio. a goal yeah. I mean, that's where it starts. You know oh. what I'm saying? I mean, as long as you, and that's 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 what I tell people. Don't I mean? I don't look at tomorrow. Tomorrow was done for me two weeks ago. I, I'm, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at man thirty, sixty, ninety to a year. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm I'm forecasting. Mm-hmm. Like you have to because oh, yeah. things happen and things come up. You know, mm-hmm. so like you gotta be ready for it when it comes. Oh yeah. So I I completely understand that, and you know you you have to forward plan just because of if something is to come up you can step in and say okay I can do this instead oh yeah take care I can keep keep where the business is going or come up with a damn good backup plan you're right <laughs> pretty much which I'm good at so <laughs> um what is it in the military you gotta adjust to the situation oh yeah you know at all times like the marine base we had to adjust fire yeah that was uh you know we didn't get a full plan in my what yeah. you know we just showed up and said definitely didn't have a strategy beforehand it was pretty no. much just show up and but we love them at the marine base now don't get it, me wrong no, yeah <laughs> you know we love them absolutely at the love it it's, it's but it, i had a blast out there. i did too i did too that was the army navy Army Navy, yeah, Army yeah. Navy. They did the flag first annual flag football game. That so, was cool. I don't know if they're going to do it there every year, though. I don't know. I hope so. Or they, they might go down to damn Fort Benning in my yeah. eyes. Yeah, more, the next, more, more. They, okay. The only reason why I know that I see the signs when I go to Columbus see my family. <laughs> so that's the only reason why I know that. Yeah, I can't believe but, all that. But anyways, that's another time. Yes, yeah, another day. Yeah. But um, yeah. So. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool if they come here every year because then we could take care of it. Oh, 100%. I mean, we're going to do the 4th of July. You know, we did that. Uh, what was that? This past year? Yeah, 4th yeah, of July. Yeah, we did the 4th of July this past year. Yeah. And then did, uh, didn't, um, was it uh, Unbreakable Bloodline play? Yeah, UBL, Essence Band. Yeah. Um, I think that was it. No, GNS. GNS. I can't forget my friends GNS, man. Yeah. Fred and them. Um, you got Jay Diva and Larry and Rashad, uh, that whole crew with Essence Band. And then shout out to Vernon and yeah. Ryan and all the I need OZ. To get, see, I need to get Vernon on this thing. Oh, I would have brought him with me tonight. Yeah, see? 
Oh, shit, I'd have thought about it. Vernon's yeah. busy, though. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got tribal fitness. and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's got all kinds of craziness. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, big Shout thing. out to Vernon and tribal fitness, too, man. Like, yes, that's, that's something he's always been in. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been running with UBL for yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't Ben do that with him? Yes. Yeah. Lanceford. Yeah. He, he does. Yeah. Benny, DJ ben, Benny, DJ Benny. Shout out to DJ Benny. Looking, yeah. Shout out to DJ Jazzy Joe. Look, listen, if you're looking for a DJ for a wedding, for a prom, for a whatever, we've got plenty of very qualified yeah. DJs. Very yeah. qualified. Jazzy Joe is doing my wedding. I tried to get I tried to get Joe out of the house tonight. He, tried. Said, he said it was too cold. It's too cold. Yeah, he just <laughs> said that. So. <laughs> Of course, his, yeah. his e- needs might have. You know, I know he's up on them or something. old, old Joe, old Joe. <laughs> I love Joe to death. I love Joe to death. Uh, yeah. See, I really wanted him to get in here so we could tell some of those stories of us back in the day. Yeah. See, and that's the thing that, that those are the good stories. That's oh, where shit my comes gosh. out. So we'll have to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll go. We'll go to Joe's yeah. house and like. Oh Lord. we listen. We're going to have to. We might need some muscle. Because he's not a small boy. He's a <laughs> <laughs> he's some muscle for old Joe, that's for sure. Because yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to get him in the car somehow. I'll get him here. Ho- hog time or something? I'll get him here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the, and we'll get you back on here with Joe so we can tell some oh, of yeah. these, these stories, you know. Because I, I will say this, you know, Joe, I mean, Joe is one of my big mentors. Right. And, you know, I'm I'm real big on that's one thing that I tell anybody when it comes to learning in the business is mentors. Yeah. Joe started spinning vinyl. Yes. If that tells you how Cab long. Stand, and yeah. I mean, Joe is an OG. He's incredible at what he does. Um, and I used to just go with him like, I mean, if he needed something, I'd let him borrow my PA or I'd let him borrow my lights. Right. Because you know, he he took care of me. So. And that's the kind of things you got to do, man. Too many people are caught up. I mean, I get that you got to make money, but you know, a lot of people get caught up on, oh man, I got to get paid for this. Got to, I, I get that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the most valuable things are the things you don't get paid for. Mm-hmm. It, I, right. They're the biggest learning experiences. You know, and and me with Joe, I mean, we went all over the place. Yeah. Shout out to Lou too. Lou, DJ Lou. Yeah, he's he's one of my huge mentors. Um, he exposed me to a lot of different people. Um, did some did some touring with him, and um, that was that's a whole nother episode. But yeah, but uh, <laughs> just just a DJ Lou episode. Yeah, but uh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah. So just having those people here, man, that's another valuable thing that you know. Um, listen, yeah, be humble. You know, there was times back in my day that you know I was probably a turd, but you know you just got to grow up and learn. You yeah, know what I'm saying. I mean. Not everyone's gonna like you. No, hundred percent. Not everyone. Like, I've accepted that. Yeah, and you have to because if you let one person get on under your skin, you're going nowhere. So you going nowhere fast, right? Like it's a, almost a dead hole. Yeah. So, like I said, hater. I love. I want the haters to mm-hmm. say something because future said it the best. Like, let those haters be your motivators and keep grinding. A perfect. That is literally Dude, it. Future said it the best. And man, I play that's uh, Go Harder is one of my favorite songs. I I play it all the time for that reason. That I mean, that's yeah. Love I mean, it, it's a perfect description mm-hmm. of that. So you know, I mean, but you got to also learn how to you know forgive your haters, and you got to learn how to. You know, I mean, because there's some some people out there that's done me wrong. You know, there's some people out there I've done wrong. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, common ground, you know, I mean. Yeah, not completely understandable because sometimes when you're putting the grind, get you know, you're trying to get places. So mm-hmm. as, me- you know, mess up, sometimes you got to step on some toes. You try not to bulldoze, folks. You try not to. Yeah. You give them the, you give them the chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I mean, yeah. yeah. You know, but I mean, if you if you got an ultimate goal, I mean, you know, you, you I try to work with people. You know what mm. I'm saying, right? Um, but uh, 
And our, the product only gets better. So, mm -hmm. I mean, even if you were slightly done wrong in the past mm -hmm. by something, the our, this product has progressively gotten better and better. So, it ain't the same thing that it was when it started. Oh, no. It's co a completely different. So, so, if you go to my Instagram. So, you're talking about the beginning of Planet X, right? Yeah. So, yeah, if you go to my Instagram, um, I literally kept that there on purpose. My yeah. first Instagram post on Planet X it has okay. the date, yeah, has the date and everything, and it has like two PV speakers tops with like a Hercules board, like straight beginner, straight beginner, Stra straight beginner, <laughs> straight beginner, <laughs> whatever. That ain't a bad. It's Pioneer. Yeah, yeah. No, you could have um, done worse. I almost did. <laughs> Pioneer, I love Pioneer. That's, yeah, that's my go-to. So, I mean that that board's actually a really good trainer board. Oh, 100 percent. Like, yeah, for sitting at the house playing on it. I mean, I've actually done played on it and done some good stuff. Like, I thought you were gonna want me to lay down a set tonight. Ugh, I just put it in front of you because I knew you'd play with it. <laughs> I know. See, uh, so everything's new still, so it feels good. I know. I like that fader. Yeah, it's a good fader right there. <laughs> like uh, faders are my favorite though. Yeah, I love faders That's why I got the new board over here Because it's got faders on it Oh god here he goes with his new board Yeah I do. I, listen See and that's the whole thing about a studio too There's faders Everything is You touch it with your hands Digital is cool Don't get me wrong But the feel To touch it and the, is just There's something about well, that's it That's why I like my Soundcraft board Yeah Just because you know, I mean, it's you can you can get behind the board, or you can run it with an iPad. Yeah. So that's what I like about my Soundcraft, and I mean, Behringer makes a board like yeah. that too. The X um, thirty two. I mean, yeah. Our uh, Zoom L twenty mm -hmm. does it. I mean, you know, you the the digital version of it, you do lose a couple things. You know, like the gain and the trim. Other than that, everything is on there. Hundred yeah. percent of everything else. Plus, there's extra features on there where you get, you know, the um, EQs and stuff on there. Yeah, it's a lot easier to look at a graph of an EQ than it is to adjust it analog. But still, at the same time, sliding a fader or turning a knob or, you know, there's something instant about it. gratification. It is. And, and it's like putting your foot on the gas. It really is. You, yeah. Sometimes you just want to mash it. Sometimes you just want to mash it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got my Crocs. Yeah, <laughs> your Crocs. That's gonna probably be me in the recording studio. I love these things. <laughs> Walking around in Crocs. I do, man. <laughs> hey, I be comfortable when you listen. Can. I don't even own a pair yet. Okay. What? Nope. Not yet. I haven't broke down to it yet. Like I've been. Thinking about it, I seen some that were fuzzy fu ones with the, f you know. Oh yeah, you want to see some? I got some on. Oh, do you? You got the you got the fuzz? Yeah, baby. Nice. Do you put them in four wheel drive? Yes. Uh, what are they in right now? No. No, they're no. not. In four they're no. in two wheel drive. Yeah, okay. Two wheel drive. Yeah. <laughs> two, two wheel drive. It's funny because that's a known thing about them. Oh, thing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if I was, you know, if I was in the wilderness, like Walmart or somewhere like that, then yeah, I put them in four wheel drive. Yeah, because you got to go. Since we're, you know, just here, relax, casual, casual, mm -hmm. two for sure, two wheel drive. Yeah, you don't need on on the main road. You don't need mm -mm. to, you know. Mm -mm. But once you get in. Go through them trails of Walmart. The business. Business. You, you, four wheel. Four wheel drive. Sometimes you got to take them sharp turns. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you go to Walmart in the middle of the... Well, now Walmart closes early. I can't tell you the last time I've been to Walmart. Really? I am a... You're a Target, aren't you? Oh, man. Well, no, I wouldn't say Target. I'm a, I'm a Jeff Bezos. Mm-hmm. Um, Walmart Express. Oh, okay. Get in, get out. Okay. If you can't get it in ten minutes or five minutes, then yeah. order it. Okay. Yeah, I I still I like going to Walmart still. So you just like to walk around? No, I don't walk around. I go get what I need, but like when I'm getting my meat and my your meat, I like I like to look at my meat. You know, inspect it. 
inspect it. You know, I got to make sure the product is good. Okay. Okay. Right. You know, that's a very important thing, especially when I do my chicken fried rice. What's your deck at? My deck? Yeah. Um, I don't have a deck. You don't have a deck? No, but I have this, which is like a deck. It is like a deck. And it is. I like this. Yeah. You know, my, my wonderful dad built this. Did he? Yep. How cool is that, man? Yep, he built it out of shop. This is the listen. This thing has been around for since day one of podcasting. This side has day one, and then we built that one about a couple months later. Um, so, so it was originally just this. Yeah, it was originally just this one table when it first started. We had one camera, and it was the main camera, and it took. I went through about six or seven different cameras before I found the two side ones. Like I, Amazon was my best friend. They're short. I like them. Oh, they're amazing. They're, they're about two fifty a piece. That's not bad. That's not bad. They're manual adjust. That's, I mean, once, but they, they're manual adjust, but they sit in one place. Yeah. So once you get it adjusted, right, you just zoom in with there. Yeah. You digitally zoom in with the back, the buttons. So you don't I don't have to zoom in with the focus or anything. So I see your first thing up there is the secret. The secret. It is a secret, you know, cuz I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I'm super excited about that. Okay. But yeah, day 1 this table a couple episodes in we built that one cuz I felt that we needed to be across from each other me and my dad. Yeah. Cuz original was intoxicated uh logic talks. Okay. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Mm, you know, me and my dad decided to do a little bit different things. So he has a new podcast that's about to come out, actually. Does he? Yeah. I think he's calling it Pops Rants. How cool is that? Yep. I've been helping him. Try is he going to get, rant? He is going to rant. He's got a couple rants. He likes ranting. So that's his thing. Okay. So, um, well, but I've been helping him with his setup and stuff. It'd be somewhat like this. Uh, it would be back in the woodshed where it originally started. So that's that his house. This is the garage, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. The garage. The garage. This is, uh, yeah. So the garage doors were over there? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, that's crazy, man. But I bought it like this. So. Oh, I got you. So I didn't do all that. Would I got you. So they did the garage. Yeah. Okay. So, which, uh, but he. Hey, that's uh, a lot of money. Yep. Uh, it is a lot of money. Trust me, we when we expanded the the woodshed, uh, we expanded it by eight by sixteen, and it cost over twenty five hundred dollars. Holy, yeah. But then again, we did sheetrock and uh, the whole nine yards. Yeah. We wired it and everything. That's kind of like we did my studio upstairs. Yeah. So exactly it, right. It went from bare wall, like no sheetrock, no nothing, to like like fully set up. Yeah, it's nice up there. I love my, Which, I love my office. Yeah, that place is bomb. I I, I like it. I like it a lot. I tell too. people to come come to my office. You know. Yeah. Let's go have fun. Yeah. You go to that office and you're like, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. But um, yeah, this podcast has progressed. I like it. Essentially. And I remember when you first asked me to get on here about a year ago. <sighs> it's not my fault. Well, it kind of is my fault. <laughs> no, we're all busy. Like it, I mean, it's hard for me even to do it, oh, but yeah. like it's it's that motivation, and this is the funnest thing I do besides I like you know working you know with yeah. you. And stuff. Yeah, but this is this is my baby. Oh, this yeah. is you know like you Planet X is your baby. Oh yeah, you know that's your baby, and you know I love working. But that's my redheaded stepchild, Planet X. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so this right here, this is it's like. It's something that I am proud of that I've created. And I like it. You've yeah. done a great job with it, man. Yeah. Anyways. That green sign just takes me away. That green sign does take... I mean, it'll be a different color, too, on the next one. We'll change it up. But we made it green for Planet X. It had to be green. had to be green. So. Ooh. Can I pull up an image? <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I bet you I can. Let's pull up an image right now. See if I can do this. <clears throat> Are we trying to do this live? Oh no. I know. Oh. 
where uh see if it logs in my Facebook. I doubt it. You know, passwords. These dang allergies. God. Oh man, my phone's not in here. Mine is. Uh well, n- I need a code. That's what I needed. Um I was gonna pull up a picture of the the big announcement. You know what? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That's the big announcement. <laughs> it ain't I'll get a picture up here. When we talk about it, okay. that's I'll get a picture. Don't okay. worry. All right. So you ready for this? Yeah. So without further ado, guys, this is the big announcement. Ryan, take it away. All right. So, like I said earlier, um, I'm a very patriotic person. Um, you know, love my country. Trying to figure out a way to give back to veterans and, you know, people in need, that sort of thing. Um, so, I came up with a nonprofit. Um, and the nonprofit is called Missions for Music. Uh, and it's every mission we go on is for music. And basically, what we're going to do is. Um, give veterans and people in need opportunities within the entertainment industry um, and also give them ways to take advantage of the entertainment industry. I mean, yeah. you know, if you have somebody in need, can't get a guitar or something like that, we want to give away a guitar at Christmas, you know. Um, so that's it's going to be very dear to my heart. Um, we've got the website up now, Mr. for Music. Miss, blah. Missions for Miss, Music. Missions for Music dot com. Um, feel free to give a donation. We're working on getting five hundred one c three, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, tax exempt, um, but we're a entity and we are ready to get get on our mission. Right. And, and so do what we need to do. I mean, this is going to promote, you know, veterans getting out or people oh, yeah. like you said in need. Or someone who desires to do this but does not have the funds. Right, yeah, 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 the ways of doing it. I so, mean, like, that, that's like with us. I mean, we're always needing a hand or, right. um, you know, if I have, and I have, I mean, you're a veteran, Ben's a veteran. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we have veterans that work on Planet X right now, which, I mean, is really both, you know, missions for music and Planet X. So Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean if if you know uh anybody in need, go to the website. There's actually a form on the website. Send that to us. Um, you know, hopefully we can do some work with M C L B Albany. Mm-hmm. Ho- I'm hoping we can do that. Um and some other people. So um it's gonna take, you know, some donations. It's gonna take some time, but I mean, at right. the end of the day, it's going to be an incredible venture. I think. Yes, and then there is a shirt if you want to buy the shirt on Planet X. I have the shirt out in the car. You do have the shirt out. I in do. Car. Ha- yeah, I'll bring it in. You bring it in. Yeah. Can you edit that in? I'm just curious. Yeah, I'll edit it. Okay. I can. Right. I got magic fingers. Okay. <laughs> um. Y'all see the y'all will see the the shirt here shortly. Yeah. So I was uh, so excited to see Ben. I just ran in without the shirt. Oh Lord. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying. I know. I, I know I I have that presence on people, but <laughs> at the same time, missions for music is going to have that presence on people too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So, like you said, donations and stuff like this. This is what's going to help us make this thing thrive. Oh yes, and to be able to and it's going back in the community. Yeah, I mean, it's going to the community. We're we're helping making those future musicians, those future mm-hmm. DJs, those future, you know, local, you yeah. know, people. You're going to be able to hire and sure, you know, do things. Sure. So, I mean, it's going to be a cool venture, and you know, not necessarily local here. I mean, I plan on expanding now down down the road. You know what I said about the thirty sixty nine a year earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, expanding down the road. Yeah, going to bigger cities, stuff like that. So yeah. Of course. I mean, so this is a great cause. So, once again, you most ain't... definitely. I'm excited about it. All right. I'm excited. I'm more than excited about it. So, what you got there? What, what I, oh, <laughs> it's small. Yeah. But he's going to go get the shirt. Yeah, I'm going to go get the shirt. So, 
This is actually a different one. This is the one that goes on the business shirt. That's right. So this is a business shirt logo, which um, I'll, I'll I'll put it up there. Too. It's got to get fiddle. It got to get fiddle. But American flag. Yeah. The shirts are really cool because they have missions for music on the front, and then they have a soldier with a gun and the flag in the neck, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. That see, and right. that's really cool. I I'm very impressed that you. You got that done. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm kind of curious how you got it done. Hey. But like I said, rubbing you, you elbows. Just, you just got to get one. I, so. I, I just got to get one. Got to get one. Don't worry, I'm getting one. I might get two or three. I give you a discount code. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. All right. Without further ado, there is Which one? the shirt. Which one? The main one. That one. The that center one. That one. So, this this is the shirt, huh? Hold it though. Hold it. <laughs> He's doing oh, his best. I as... am doing my best. Hold it better. Uh, there we go. Th- there you go. That is that a clear image? It looks a pretty clear image. Here, you want to actually show it on your camera? Ready, set, go. To there the... we go. There you go. That's better. So this is a missions for music shirt, guys. Yes. Um. Uh, Shirt sure, actually looks pretty cool. The logo looks really cool. Um, I like it. It literally states everything that it's about. You it's know, got the, it's got the get fiddle. It's got the American flag. It's got every mission we go on is for music, and then www.missionsformusic.com. Yeah. So everything we stand for. But uh, hit get, my camera one more time. Oh, all right, one more time. Zoomer in. There we go. There, there you go. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. I love it. So, I want a white one, but I want a black one, too. I know, man. You done got me. Yeah. Hey. I've seen that black one I on the site. That and I was like, Dang. yeah, Yeah, I'll throw up the website in the description that you can go to to purchase a shirt. You know, and the you know, proceeds to help. So, you can either go to planetxmerch.com, mm-hmm. and that's going to have all the Planet X merch under the Planet X umbrella. Or you can go to missionsformusic.com and get the shirt from there. Okay. So I'll throw up both of them so you guys have both things. I mean. And there's it, some cool stuff on the Planet X yeah. store. I mean, it's also where, it, well, the Planet X, is that also where you can um, get all information for. They oh, want? Planet X Connect. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, if you want to follow Planet X in general about all our events, news, all that kind of fun stuff. I mean, we put up events that are upcoming, um, mainly the ones that we're a part of, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously. Um, may, you know, mainly the stuff where, but we get exclusive type information, stuff like, you know, you might not know in the public. We might get tickets, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then you see, like I said, upcoming events, news. But, yeah, go to Planet X Connect. Dot com, so connect, yeah. connect with us. And I'm listen. I'm, and they have a cool. We have a cool newsletter. A newsletter. Yep. All this is going up under the description. Go straight to your email. So, straight to your email. Yep. Cool. So you can sign up. Sign up for it. Sub- subscribe. Yep. Subscribe. PlanetXConnect dot com. And then you get all the information. I mean, it's probably going to be posted all over my Facebook too. Yeah. <laughs> all over. It. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You how know. how much is a spot like right here in the back? Planet X a Connect? spot? Ooh, we'll have to talk about that one. <laughs> hey, money, M- money talks. That's right. No, uh, what and what walks? No, I'm just. Joking. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, I put up all the sites. Um, and like that's actually something though. What kind of what you just mentioned? Uh, like I'm very promote friendly. Like I love promoting everyone's stuff. Mm-hmm. So, if if there's bands out here and you want help promoting your stuff, send me your dates and I will put them on my heck yeah on, on the site. I mean, mm-hmm. Genotonic uh, just put their stuff up and I posted it on there. Heck yeah! That I mean, I want my page to be a great resource okay. so that people know what's going on because there's a, that that is one of the hardest things to know. Like you want to go to a bar to see a certain band. You're waiting for them, but well, you don't have to wait for them. You can just look at my page and be like, oh, 
I know exactly when they're going to be there. That's right. So, once again, that I would love my site to be able to do that. And see, Ben me. covers all of the bands. All the, yeah. So, but, not necessarily, you know, if they're just Planet X or what. Um, but he covers all the bands. So, yeah. All, like, I, I mean, of course, I'm part of 95. Like, I am their sound guy. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, 95 you got commerce child you got genotonic you got fast food for mutants i mean there's this Man area Hammer. is phenomenal for entertainment yeah there's there, there's 15 20 bands locally that you know i think we named them off one night all we like we wrote them all down and there seems to be more bands popping up and stuff and every one of them that I've seen are really good. Like I watched Six Guns Down, uh, at Pretoria Fields, uh, this past weekend, and they're phenomenal. Yeah, you know, their drummer can sing, like, like it's. I mean, hard enough to play drums, but to sing and play drums, that man can sing. That's like, awesome. I mean, the guitar, the lead singer, he you know he plays acoustic yeah. guitar, and he can sing too, of course. But like, just it's very impressive watching the drummer sing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. These there's a lot of great bands out here, guys. So, and get out and watch them. Get out and watch them. Support local music. That's right. I preach that all the time. Well, I mean, you know, because I I I thank the Lord every day for the people that support me. Yeah. You know, I I don't like to call them followers or anything like that. You mm. know, I mean. People, I I can tell you right now, people that support me, yeah. you know, um, and that means the absolute world to me. Yeah, I think um, that follower term is just kind of not. I, don't, I, I wish don't, they I would change like that. Term. I don't. I don't like it. No, because I'm not a leader of you know, like I. I mean, well, I'm an entertainer. Yeah, you know, and I guess you do follow an entertainer, but at the same time, like at the end of the day, they they're your supporters. They yeah, you're. You. Exactly. Like if you go, you pay to come to one of the shows, you're supporting us. Yeah. You know, that's exactly what that is. And that's the whole thing about going to these shows and stuff. When you go to these shows and there's a cover charge, you're helping support that band. 100%. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, and that's what, you know, it's about. Where you're allowing the band to do what they do. And then also, like a lot of bands, a lot of bands put out that tip jar. Oh, yeah. You know, when you put that money in there, that helps them. That helps them buy strings or when equipment goes down or... Equipment is not cheap. And equipment, definitely. I mean, I'm going to put it this way. Bass strings can easily run $30, $40. Yeah. Like, easily. And, I mean, most of these players are only making 100 bucks a gig. Yeah. So, it's barely paying for the equipment they're playing with. So, and... You got to think, these guys, they don't just show up at a place and could play. No, they have to sit there and And then when you play, you pay. Yeah. So every time you play, you're risking having to pay. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. You got to, you know, treat, you know. So. It's it's important to support your local musicians. uh, Yeah. It's very important. Anyways, guys, we love you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And. Thank you for having me. No problem. So true. Appreciate that. I'm glad that I was actually able to come to the big city here. You're wel- welcome. It's paradise. I know. I know. <laughs> Man, I was, I'm driving into town like, dang. dang. What the heck? Anyways, you guys take care. <laughs>